it sounds even a third time for you. Well, it, it's good. It's, it's a lot of work. It's, it's not easy winning uh, every year, any league. We talked about that. Uh, just proud of the effort, proud of a lot of guys. Uh, season didn't start off like we wanted, but we had the goal in sight to win the conference championship and, and go to playoffs, and we accomplished that tonight. You know, everybody always talked talk this past week about taking care of business, doing it this week, doing it in this game, and all this kind of stuff, and not having to worry about that. Just talk about actually going ahead and, and getting that done. Yeah, well, when we got back on the practice field uh, Monday, uh, there, there was a, still a little bit of excitement. They knew what was coming, it was, it was antsy, but Tuesday we got back to work and said, hey, we got to focus on Lamar and let's win the football game. And we did that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You always want it where uh, it's in your hands. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, somebody else. You want to control your own destiny. Uh, we we were fortunate to be playing this game at home with a chance to win it, and the guys went out and did it. You know, this is one of these kind of games where it seemed like, you know, they kept look, kept trying to grab the momentum, and it seems like every time they did, did try to do that, you immediately responded. Well, they're a good football team. I think they're a very well-coached football team. And look, they were five and one, and there's a, there's a reason you see that. Uh, they're good, they know what to do, they know how to run the football. Uh, they schemed us up on some things, and those guys made some plays, but our guys responded, and that's what it's all about. We talked about that. Uh, things are gonna happen in the game, it's how you respond, and we deliver. And about the, the, offense, defense. the offense good. really had a coming out party this past two games, and they were able to take the game out of the hands of the defense. Can you kind of speak to that at all? Well, I think anytime you score 37 points, and like we did last week where we scored 45 points, you got a good chance to win the games. And look, it's complimentary football. We did not play a, a clean game tonight, by, by, by no means, okay? But we found a way to win. We stayed after it. Uh, special teams was not clean. We kind of kept them in the game on some things. Uh, but I, I was just proud of the effort and, and what those guys did, and, and it was it was still a complete team win. You were talking about the uh, the defensive stand at the end of the first half. Yeah, a little bit of confusion uh, going back down there. We thought there was a, you know, they didn't have any timeouts left. I thought it was going to be a 10 second runoff, but they ended up calling a penalty on us, uh, and so they got back to go in a fourth and one and went for it. Uh, and then we and we still had to punch it out of there with it we can run a little sneak to get it out But that was huge anytime you can deny and, and not get any points in that situation uh, That was a big thing and I don't even I don't even know I don't have it in front of me with the what the score was at halftime at that point uh, to, to keep it so but just to keep them out of the end zone was huge and uh, also to the uh stopping the two-point conversion because at that point that would have made it an eight-point game yeah you know you, you got the chart and you got to go and they were down by 16. uh we knew that when they scored and and, and it was a big stop uh, i think eli ends made a big play on the tight end throwback uh, look they, they did a good job of moving the football and staying in the game but in the end our offensive line took over in that run game those running backs uh, really did a great job and so, you, you, you talked about the running game uh obviously you guys had uh, success again but talk about a little bit about some of the big catches. You know, Lee had the 40-yarder, the and then he had the two touchdown grabs. Yeah, and uh, eight had a huge touchdown grab at the end. David Robertson had, got, had a guy draped all over him. Uh, um, two had a nice touchdown catch out the backfield with a burst and run. So, yeah, I mean, I, it was still complimentary football. I think we, we, we did a lot. But those big boys up front at the end took over the game. And the defense now, I think, leads the country in turnovers. Can you kind of tell me how you brought that tenacity? Well, to the team? I mean, they work hard at it. It's, it's something you work every every day in the off. Like I say in the off season, in fall camp, you do that. Uh, every practice, we work on the takeaways and try to get it. And then sometimes they come. And this year, they've been coming for us. So I, I don't even know what was the turnover we had tonight. I know we had a couple of them. Tyler Martin had one. And, fumble recovery. Uh, that was a big fumble recovery. Three, yeah, was they, were, they were moving and had momentum. Yeah, and, and sometimes we count those fourth down stops as turnovers also. And then uh, I guess, obviously, there's still a lot to play for, you know, secured the AQ. But, you know, you're looking to go outright and the river bell. Uh, I, I guess, how do you kind of corral the emotions and, and well, get them ready? You know, you, you talk about it, you make hints all week about it. That Again, if, if, if things went tonight like we thought they were going to go tonight, we got to show up tomorrow afternoon and practice. Uh, we got to get ready. It's a short week. Uh, they're going to enjoy this one because they, they, you don't get these times too often. But uh, we still do have a lot to play for. We still want to improve. Uh, we want to try to make a run. We want to represent the conference. There's a lot of things that we want to get done, and we got a short week to do it in. On this day, and not have to worry about anything else that might happen. And you could just talk about you guys going ahead and doing that. 
Yeah, I think it's just really good the fact that, you know, we got guys that are, you know, great leaders that we have. I think Pat McQuaid's done a great job in, in kind of leading these guys. And Evan Roussel up front, I mean, them big boys up front, they just get after him. They kind of let me do my job. And as you can see, they let him do his job too. This dude can, can get after it. He makes my job a lot easier. And I tell him sometimes, I'm like, man, just give me a couple of your moves and I'll, I'll give you some of mine. But just having him in the back with me, man, it's been great this year. And it's been a really good duo that we can, that, that we have created. The words, uh, conference champion, I'll just say, it sounds great. It's awesome. I mean, just everything you work for, you know, uh, just just the team and, and the camaraderie and, and just the hard work. Not even that we put in the season, but just just over the summers and, and the spring football and just finally getting all that to come together and, and be victorious and finally host the trophy back in Thibodeau. I mean, it means everything to us. And Kaylin, you were just electric today on the field. Can you kind of tell me how you were able to score those? Yeah. Mm, first thing, the man above, God, I ain't gonna lie to you. I talk to him a lot, so he he the reason why. I ain't gonna lie to you. O line, dogs. I know, I, know, I know you give a lot of credit to your O line, but you gotta talk about that uh, touchdown run where you, where you made that cut. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just made the cut. Just <laughs> I just made a play. That's it. Uh, that's all I was saying. Just but you like, seem to be one of these guys that it seems like at least one, you got a, one of those kind of things in you that every game, it seems. Mm -hmm. It's natural. All natural. <laughs> and, Boo, you kind of, you got out of the line one time and you kind of fell. Can you kind of tell me what was going through your mind when that happened? Yeah, that's just me getting old, honestly. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, nah, I mean, I, I broke a couple of tackles. Uh, I kind of lost my foot a little bit on, on the second one that I broke. Uh, I got to do a better job of getting my head up, but I, I think the offense did a great job. I think that drive, Quincy caught the fade ball in the back corner end zone, so credit to them and just kind of picking me up. I mean, because I thought that was a big momentum swift in, uh, shift in the game. And, and then, like I said, credit goes to this guy. I mean, this guy can make so many plays, and when stuff ain't open, he still finds a way to make it open. So. It makes my job a lot easier. It makes the holes a lot bigger for me when I am running. It seemed like that whenever they tried to get the momentum or did get some momentum, you guys immediately came back and answered and took it back. Yeah, wow. Rebo always talked to us about keep punching. Like, even though if they have, you know. Wow. <laughs> I think it's just the, the big part is just, just pre doing what Coach preaches, you know. I mean, keep punching and. And just the way that we battled back, I think we responded very well on the drive. Lamar, hey, Lamar's a great team. Give credit to him. I think the quarterback's very tough. I mean, they got one of the top running backs in the conference. And, but, I mean, hats off to our defense. They, they stiffen up when they need to. And I think that's a, a big, you know, a test of what this team is about and, and kind of what we created this year. And and like Spears said, I mean, do what coaching preaches, you know. I mean, there's a reason why he's our head coach and he's leading us. So if we can, if we can listen to that guy, I mean, we're going to be pretty, have pretty good chances. Still, I mean, it hasn't even hit me yet, but you know, we worked hard for this, man. Since last spring, we made it a little change the program back to where it's been. So, doing this, man, it doesn't feel like you get any better than that. Man. And that interception you had tied the team for best in the country in turnover. Can you kind of speak to your defensive ability to generate those turnovers? Oh, man, well, sharp. Sharky, Quinn Sharky, he, he, he preaching every day, you know, get the turnover, get the, get the ball, punch the ball out, coach, coach Robert again, all our coaches, you know, they're constantly pre-stress, turnovers, turnovers, and man, that's just how you change the game. And so we've been forced to come up with, uh, the, the amount of turnovers we have come up with, I mean, it's just been helping the team out. On the interception, talk about that play specifically. Well, I seen that um, the tight end ran across the field, big across the field. And I read it out the quarterback hand that it was going to be an overthrow, so I just put myself in the right spot and did catch the ball. And just talk about how it seemed like either they, but Lamar was always like coming back and trying to get the momentum. And every time they did, I mean, you guys immediately came up with like an interception or a fumble recovery or a big run to set up another score. I mean, you guys always seem to get the momentum back right away. Well, you know, we never give up, man. We play with a one blade mentality. like. When they was on the one yard line, you know, it's one blade and one blade and we're gonna keep confident no matter what happens, how many plays they make and we're gonna run to the ball and get them on the ground and play the next down. So that's how we play and that's how we practice. So talk about the, that defensive stop at the end of the first half. I mean, they had first and goal, what, at the six, I think, to start? 
and you guys kept him out the end of the line. Like I said, uh, Coach always preached to us home play mentality and the cycle of play. And teams that play in November, the defense is in November and December, that's the defense that's going to be remembered. So that's what we had on, on our mind, and that's what we did. I was thinking of all the turnovers you guys have had this year. The one thing you hadn't done is one of your, you know, three hundred pound nose tackles getting a pick. How, how about Rashid getting that interception? What can you say about that point? Man, that's amazing, man. I was surprised. I was like, oh my god, she's got an interception. And I, I'm proud of she. He works hard, man. And he deserves it. Is it to the point where it's just contagious with you guys with taking the ball away? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And the cigars are like champagne for college football. Can you kind of tell me how? Did you grab one after? Yeah, I did, man. I was just enjoying the moment, man. How did it feel smoking that one? Uh, it felt good. It felt good. <laughs> and what are you going to make, you and the team going to make sure that y'all do to make sure y'all can get to December and play December football? We, you know, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing all season. Uh, we're going to get back in the, in the film tomorrow and we're going to fix our corrections because there's always corrections. We're going to fix them and get back to practice and work hard on Monday, Tuesday, all through the week, up until whenever our season is, is done, we're going to work hard. And Coach isn't going to let this feeling linger with that practice tomorrow. Can you kind of talk about how you're going to make yourself get back into shape real quick? Oh, man, I feel like our team, you know, this is, this is contagious. So this feeling, you want to feel it. And I don't think any of us are satisfied with just solidly champs, you know. So I think we're going we're gonna to get back and we're going to and the big rivalry next week. Can you kind of tell me what that's going to feel like if y'all can pull that one out? Uh, we're going to feel good, man. We, uh, we need that truth today. <laughs>